Hey guys, it's Corrales and welcome everybody to the third episode in how to build a simple house. After the two first episodes, we have something looking like this and I think this is one smexy looking house. You guys wanted me to do some interior design and decoration, so we're gonna do this in this episode and hopefully we're gonna have time to do the exterior as well. If not, it's gonna be a fourth one. But let's go inside and let's check this place out. We have the downstairs here. Just amazing, beautiful, but we're gonna start up here, I think. I'm thinking bedroom or bathroom, poopy place or sleepy place. You know what, let's start in the poop place. And the first thing we're gonna do is kind of divide us up a little bit. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, and five blocks in within total. So here on the fourth one, I'm gonna place a dividing wall looking like this, just using quartz for now. This can now be moved so we have space. So we're gonna have this space here for a toilet chair. We're gonna have this for, I don't know, bathtub and shower combination. Next step is court stairs facing like this. And now what we could do is have water in here. We could place slabs like that. But what I'm gonna do is this instead. I'm gonna remove this since we have double floors. I'm gonna do this, place some courts here. I'm gonna fill this with water. Uh-huh. Look how amazing that looks. Here, remove this and place an upside down quartz there. Same on this side, just to kind of frame this area a little bit. We're gonna use white stained uh, window penises as a little protection so we don't really get water outside this area. Just to role play this to the max. I'm gonna delete this block here and place a lantern or a glowstone. Doesn't really matter what you choose. Gray carpet on top, for example. And now we have this area pretty much looking like that. Pretty amazing. So we're gonna place a... Um, Three wire hook, which acts as a shower head thingy, and a button for the for the, like thingies if you want that to be pretty pretty nice, pretty simple. What comes for this toilet chair area? Let's place. Uh, let me just count this: one, two, three, four, five, six, and maybe seven layers of uh, snow caps. On top of that, just a little carpet design. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter which color it is, just to have this little toilet chair. Also. We could have this knocked out and this could now be a little toilet poopy area window. If wanted, not sure that looks so good, but it's in the eye of the beholder. You can have it there, you can just go without it. From the inside, it looks something like this and I think I kind of like it. We have one window here just overlooking the bathtub and one here overlooking the toilet chair. So now we can open that and all the poopy smells will go out. <laughs> GG's. Here on the wall, we're gonna place an item frame. Can't neglect the poopy paper. Inside of that, we're gonna place a pillar quartz twisted this way. Button on the wall. And there's our little TP. Doesn't have to be anything more, you know, or anything less. Now we can just wipe our square bum. Love it. Here, place course here and course here in between that a hooper hopper kind of facing the wall so it kind of looks pretty and nice we're gonna also add this a tripwire hook which is gonna be the, the tap thingy a little flower pot on the far end just to add some ambiance could make a mirror design but I'm just gonna go as simple as this here though on the thingies uh, let me just grab the wooden button back because what we could do is place one here and one here just to add to the ambiance I guess I don't know here on this side a white banner here which is gonna act as a little towel uh, towel rack or whatnot towel holder I think you call it or something and in the corner armor stand if wanted so you can hang up your clothes and whatnot we can even do that let me just get some leather tunic and leather pants BAM and BAM I think it's very simple but it's gonna work for the thing we're gonna be using it for and that is absolutely nothing you can't poop in Minecraft. Everybody hurts. Now let's move on to the smaller bedroom upstairs. First of all, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for the amazing support and feedback. All the comments, so much positive energy. You are absolutely fantastic. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Up here, we're going to start off by placing oak wood logs. One, two, three, and four in the far end. In the middle, we're going to have spruce wood slabs. One here and one here on the sides button and a button. We're gonna have a flower part here in a later stage. In the window here on this side and on that side, place 
a banner of your color choice, I guess. It's gonna represent the curtains. Now here, we're gonna place Snow and Snow. Next layer, white wool. And the last one, color of choice. I'm gonna use cyan, okay? Here in the flooring though, let's remove those two and let's replace them well, at least one of them with a snow lan or I mean <laughs> a lantern, all right? Then place some gray carpet on top. That's gonna be a little like what you're gonna call it, a little carpet when you cannot go out from bed and whatnot. Here in the far end, snow caps. One, two on this side, and one on that side. So now we have our bed. It doesn't really apply to survival scenarios, but it's gonna work wonders if you're trying to role play this aspect. Now let's place a flower pot here with a blue orchid because I freaking love that flower. It's pretty. Here we're gonna place a stone pressure plate or a weighted one, doesn't really matter, just place it. It's gonna be a little laptop. Place a sign here in the far end. It's gonna be I Poop Pro. There we go, just like a boss. And here we're just gonna shift click a little painting inside. Maybe not that big. Uh, kinda looks perfect. I love it. So let's keep that. Here we're just gonna make a little thingy. A little like you're gonna call it, like a TV stand or whatnot. Very simple, little like storage unit or whatnot. Three wooden buttons on top of it. In the middle here, we're gonna add a black wool. It's gonna represent one of those old school TVs and whatnot. One more flower pot, and here we're gonna choose maybe a fern or whatnot. Bam! Pretty perfect, pretty simple, pretty nice. Here in the far end, you can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna do a little seating area looking something like this. A little chair, just overlooking the back garden, which is <laughs> absolutely humongous at this stage, I don't know. Also, if you need extra lighting, let me see if we can maybe remove those. Yes, we can. Squeeze this in, and maybe just below that place some iron trap doors, just because we can. Bam, and bam. Also, maybe one more painting about here. A bigger version of it. No, 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 no. Perfect. That looks beautiful. And you don't really have to add much more in this. You could maybe, let me just see, maybe a trip wire hook on this wall, just so you can hang some stuff off. You could uh, remove this white wool here in the back and add bookshelves if wanted. Maybe you can just try that. Let me just see here. Z book, uh, G book, book, like this, and add maybe one here, one on this side. Not really sure if it fits the theme, but we could have it here. And also, on this side, maybe squeezing an extra torch here. Pretty perfect. What calls for the closet unit in here? I'm just gonna remove this one here. I'm gonna replace that with a lantern. And you could have uh, those armor stands and whatnot, but I'm just gonna go with normal chests and have one and two double chests. We can open them because that's... Uh, uh, that stairs just above him. So that is pretty much it for the little bedroom. I think this looks pretty nice. I did the other bedroom upstairs off camera because it's almost identical as the previous one, okay? The only difference here is this is four blocks in width with four buttons, TVs too, a little bookshelf here in the far end with an armor stand so you can just hang off your clothes. Inside of the wardrobe, two double chests, a little jungle wood chair so you can just sit, relax and chill color theme kind of changed to greeniness and we got carpets on both sides in the far end a painting and a chair and here in this one I'm just gonna do the same so let me just remove you bam and have gray carpet on both sides so now it's symmetrical perfect the only tweak I might think of on this side is can I demolish you oh no no you perfect Let's remove this and let's add a door here because this is kind of like the master bedroom. Let me just floor, bam, and door. So now we can kind of enter the bathroom from this side and it still kind of gives us a lot of space. This house is spacious. I freaking love it. So that is it for this bedroom. Now we're going to move on downstairs and this is the dining room, all right? And this is teeny weeny. So we need to squeeze in and make it smart. And this is going to be the Dutch room. It's gonna be orange. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place a perimeter of quartz slabs all the way around the room like this. Perfect. Here I'm gonna knock this out and I'm gonna place a cauldron, all right? Don't worry. On that, a brewing stand and then the sea lantern, just to make it a little cool lamp and whatnot. Here on the floor, I'm gonna put a cha-cha table in the middle by 
one, two, three, just in front of the window, right? Then, a cha cha stare here, 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 and here. Perfect, kinda perfect. Orange banner on the sides, placed like this, all the way around, and it's gonna give us a cool, like, armrest on those chairs. Bam, bam, and bam. On the table, flower pot, and an orange tulip. For curtains, orange banners. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can use whatever you prefer, but this is gonna be the Dutch room. Ha, huh, something like this for now. Hopefully we get some Dutches in the house. I don't know, but anywho, on this side, we're gonna place one, two, and three cha -cha, uh, wood blocks like this. Here, we're gonna add an anvil with some bushes on top. One, two, and three. Orange carpet, like that. And some buttons, one, two, and three, like that. For the flooring, you know what, just to make a little variation, I'm just gonna do something like this, maybe. Some sideways cha, -cha blocks. And I think that kind of flows quite nicely when you enter the room. I know it's orangey and all, but I love it. Here we're gonna have a shelf on the wall here, and here in the middle, a painting, for example. Also, flower pot and a tulip. On this side, though, we might squeeze in a torch just for extra light purposes, like that. Do we need more? I don't know. I think this is pretty much completed. What goes for this one, though? You know what I've been thinking? Oh yeah, baby. You know what, let's remove this for example, and let's make... Do I have any slabs here or about? Yeah, here, <laughs> all the way here I went. Let's make a little door and whatnot, and I mean, if you're building this house on a non-flat map, I guess, you can have a, a storage, you can have a way down to a basement and whatnot. You know what, I'm gonna do something like this. I'm just gonna cover this up. And let me see, one, two, perfecto el mundo. Just see lanterns. And maybe we can have a little chest room and even a little crafting station here. So, double chest, double chest, and a single chest. Can I remove you? No, I can't. Doesn't matter. Crafting table. And looky looky. This is so freaking spacious. Like, if you're playing this on a, on a survival world, you might just want to add even more, like that, for example. No, you can't. You can't open them. Womp, womp, womp. Doesn't matter. I think that looks absolutely pretty. So now we have a little room entrance to our storage area, which is absolutely humongous. Three double chests, one single, and a crafting bench. You can even squeeze in some anvils here if you wanted. Bam! So that is it for this dining room. And I love it. Okay, so now let's do the living room, and this is gonna be super super simple, okay? First thing I'm gonna do is grab blocks of course. I'm gonna place one, two, and three. And for those who build the house, it's just here on this window. So one, two, and three. In front of that, quartz slabs, one, two, and three. Then just place one here on the corner, one here, and a full block behind. Now this can be deleted, this is just for measurement. Bam! Here on the sides, Upside down, spruza wooda stairs. This is gonna be the armrests and whatnot. So this is gonna be our couch area. One, two. And the same for this one. One and two. Very simple, but I think they can add to the ambiance. I don't know. Here in the middle, delete this wood block, place a gray wall. On top of that, white stained glass. Bam. On the sides, spruza wooda on this side and spruce wood on this side. Now we could place some lighting here, okay? So I'm gonna delete this, for example. I'm gonna delete this. And on top of that, I'm just gonna cover this up with some gray carpet. And you don't have to use sea landers, you can just use glowstone and whatnot. Bam! Very simple, but kinda cool looking. Now using spruce wood, we're gonna add one, two here, and we're gonna do the same here, but one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven in total. This is gonna be very, very simple. What comes for curtains, I'm just gonna use the light gray banners, because I think the whitish just gonna pop out too much, so light gray it is. Bam and bam. Here, well, is a no-go zone, I guess, I don't know. Also, here we're gonna remove this, one, two, three, just in the middle, just in front of the window, and add maybe glowstone or sea lanterns and whatnot, and then just cover this up with some carpet like this. I'm gonna add this here and this here, 
that's gonna represent some coffee cups i don't know you just just use your imagination i guess here we're gonna add a cauldron and you know what we're gonna fill this with water just to role play this to the max that's water and a little bush just because we can just for the prettiness of it i guess next thing is let me just think about it what do we need we need some batons so let's just use uh, you just throw it the button don't no good there we go one two one two three four five six and uh -oh, seven buttons just like this very simple kind of stylish anyhow i guess we're gonna place our flower pot here like this we're gonna place maybe one here maybe one here bam and a fern in this one i am loving it we could also do this brewing stand here on top of that just a sea lantern just for lighting purposes it's a lamp i kind of like it and here just above this glass block in the ceiling like this we're gonna add a cauldron a brewing stand and below that a sea lantern so now we got a little table lamp and whatnot or a ceiling lamp <laughs> above the table i guess also some paintings so let's see here we could add a bookshelf here just one just you know what sometimes less is more also a painting here in the middle no 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 perfect i kind of like that and one painting on this wall for example no 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 Oh, come on! Bam! There we go, finally! So you know what? I think this will do for the living room. It's very simple, but I think I like it. There's nothing else we need, I guess. Well, we need a TV, but you know how it is. Sometimes they don't just don't have. They socialize. <laughs> Love it. So this is something for this area. What also we could do is just get some uh, trip wire hooks and maybe add like this here for example so you can just hang your coat and whatnot perfecto el mundo everybody behold it's a very simple living room next up downstairs bathroom first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna move to here i'm gonna remove this block in the far end and i'm gonna place a cauldron here i'm gonna fill this with water just like this here i'm gonna remove this for now to about here all right we're gonna take court stairs and place one two then core slabs one two and three so that's gonna be our shower right we're gonna do the same as we did upstairs we're gonna place one here one on this side and then in a quartz slabs just in the middle we're gonna place white stained window penises by six in total like this then here comes a little tricky part from the inside first i'm gonna grab an iron trapdoor i'm gonna place one here uh-huh pretty amazing then i'm gonna try to make it a little rainforest shower so let me just place a lever like this then a trapdoor perfect button crapper remove it place it back there we go everybody this is kind of kind of glorious now we have this we can just take a shower the water will just drain away into the drainage and we're gonna rainforest shower pretty cool using a white banner here on the wall we're gonna add a little towel rack perfect perfect we're gonna add a hooper hopper on this side and one on this side please do not mistake the toilet for the sink this is the toilet this is the sink you don't want to poop in the sink well you can if you do want i don't really care so full box of course here a little fern on top we can now delete this place it here and maybe one here up in the ceiling all right we're gonna cover this up with a lime carpet we're gonna cover this up with a white carpet kind of doesn't fit the theme because of the wall is white maybe what we should do is use a grayish one yeah kind of fits the theme we're gonna add a little trip wire hook here and this is pretty much done the only thing which we are missing is the button so now this little downstairs toilet and bathroom looks something like this i don't really like the grayish color here what else could we use you know what oh yeah let's use pink bam perfect so that is the downstairs bathroom everybody could i add painting maybe or something but no let's keep it simple it's done done everybody hurts. 
never, never neglect the toilet paper. Button on the wall, item frame, quartz pillar block placed like this. We got TP. Now we have two rooms left. This one and the kitchen. Let's start with this one. And this will be a bedroom. First is first, oak wood alongside this wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven in total. Spruce and wood slabs. One, two, and three. Just to this window here. Then I'm gonna remove this for now. First layer, snow. Next one, white wool. Last one, gray wool. Using snow caps, place one here, one here, in the middle, two. My favorite flower, flower pot, and the blue orchid. Perfect. So that is kind of the bed. We're gonna place a button here, a button here, a button here, and one over here. From above, <laughs> it looks like this. And just to spice it up a little bit, add a flower pot here, cacti inside, and a sea lantern on top. It is a lamp. What goes for curtains, let's just use white banners in this room. Like this. We're also gonna remove those two blocks here. We're gonna place glowstone or sea lanterns, doesn't matter, and we're gonna cover that up with lime carpet, just to add some color. And ambiance, I guess, I don't know. We're gonna do the same on this side. So, you know what, I think one might be enough, to be honest. Bam, bam. So there we go. Here in the far end, we're gonna place a little chair, like this. And above that, we're gonna try to place a painting. No, 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 no crap, I had it. Bam, finally. I kinda like that painting for reasons unknown. It kinda looks modern, but kinda cozy anyhow. So you know what the final thing is? I've been thinking a little bit, let me just hear knock this off here that is the kitchen what we can do since this doesn't have any walk-in closet or whatnot we can maybe just do something like this let's add this pick up a quartz stair and inside of this let's maybe add two chests and a door it's gonna be maybe an oak door placed from the outside like this uh-huh and we can open them yes we can perfect above here let's do a little simple ghetto tv or something like this you know what we can maybe even have it higher up or maybe not you know what let's do this like this we can also place a perimeter around this room of quartz just to add a little detail i guess like this Kind of looks semi cozy and also let's see here we're gonna pick up some ba -ba -bum -bum -ba -bum. not clay i'm looking for wool uh, there we go black wool so let's add those a little button here and a painting no 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 perfect you know what it's very simple but you know what i think it's gonna work anywho we come in here and this is what we see do we miss anything? We could place an extra flower, I guess. But I think we are happy with this. This is the last bedroom. And now, it's only the kitchen left. So let's derp it up. Let's make it simple. Let's make it kind of modern, I guess. So we're gonna do something like this. We're gonna place a perimeter of snow blocks all the way around here, going out two from the wall. Now this guy here will be removed to here for now. We're gonna delete those though, and we're gonna place one, two, three, four, five, and six snow caps in total, like this on those three. I'm gonna delete this middle one here and place one, two, and three. That's gonna be the sink area. Three by hook. Perfecto al mundo. Delete this furnace with a pleasure plate. Now take this sea lantern and place it back here. Now this can be deleted. So that is the little working area. We're gonna place a countertop, which looks like this. You can use whatever you want, but this is just kind of like a idea. That is gray wool carpet. Kind of pretty. So let's place quartz here and one upside down like this. Let me just grab the we got. Yes, perfect. Full block of quartz above. And this is gonna be the thing which kind of sucks out the poopy air. 
Well, not poopy iron in the kitchen, but you know what I mean. Bam. Iron trapdoor. That kind of looks really nice. So, dark oak stairs here. Maybe one here and one here. Like this, and then just dark oak slabs here. Don't worry. We get this. You know what? Full block here and a full block above. And let's just go full blocking all the way here around. Because we can. Like this. Could place like door handles and whatnot on them, but I think I'm just gonna leave them at this. Sea lantern. And let's see here. Maybe those two here. Hey, hey, hey. That is not too shabby. So, you know me. A flower pot and blue orchids. You can use whatever you want, but I kind of like those flowers for some reason. Kinda, it kind of gives it some color and it's kind of cool bluish color and kind of my favorite color as well. So it works. Then, you know what? Let's grab some quartz and quartz stairs. And here on this wall, we're going to have a refrigerator. So it's going to be like one, two, three, and four in height. Go down by two, one from the ground, and then just maybe one upside down. And because we can. That was my phone, by the way. A little handle. You know what? This doesn't look too shabby. We also need kind of painting on this wall. So let me just find a good one and add it. No, 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 no. Bam! There we go. Something like this. You know what? This is pretty simple. One thing which we also could do is maybe knock those three out and place some window here. Just if you want to be the cool kids on the block. Let me just see how does this look from the outside. Ay 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 ay. You know what? It ain't too shabby, I guess. It kind of fits the theme. Anywho. So now if you're preparing dinner or whatnot, you can just watch your humongous garden at this current point. I love it. One more thing which we could do is maybe, like this is just trial and error. We could place those around the perimeter all the way around. But you know what? No. I'm gonna do it, but it is totally doable. Bam! Everybody, I'm not gonna do it more. I think this is, we can play some door handle. No, you know what? This is pretty enough. The only thing which I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna walk about the house and see if there's something we've missed. But this is a very simple, very kind of like semi-modern looking kitchen. I like it. Hopefully you guys got some inspiration from it. And the final thing we could do is here up in the staircase, all right? We could remove those middle blocks by one, two, three, and four. Because the divider here is the divider between the wardrobes or whatnot. Uh, can I delete more? I could delete those because that's not going to be shown whatsoever. Let's grab two lanterns like this and a painting. No, 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 no. Perfect. Flower pot and bam. Very simple, but you know, it kind of gives you some, I don't know, cool ambiance to the whole place. So let's just check out this place. What have we done? Let's start, you know what, let's start on the upstairs because we haven't been there in ages. First thing we did is the little bathroom here. And I freaking love it. The little poopy chair and whatnot, TP. And it's pretty. Then we did a little bedroom looking like this not sure about the bookshelves but you know what it's gonna do for now here we got another bedroom very simple yet again pretty amazing then we move down and we did the dutch room <laughs> this is so derp looking but you know what i kind of like it anywho it's a lot of color in here and we also have this like walking wardrobe not a walking wardrobe it's just a wardrobe a closet or whatnot perfect we did this little simple living room here, which we could add so much more in, but you know what? It's a small room. Let's just be happy about it. Then we did this little bathroom, which is just perfect. We did this bedroom. Perfecto El Mundo. Uh -huh. And then we finished off on El Kitchen, which is super simple. But it kind of works out. So there you go, everybody. You wanted an interior decoration of this place, and it is done. 
So hopefully everybody enjoyed and I'm truly sorry but it's gonna be a fourth episode where we kind of do some derpy exterior as well. It's gonna be very very simple because it's kind of like a small suburban house now isn't it? So, so yeah, I'm kind of tired now. I've been talking a lot I guess. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you got some inspiration. If you did, don't forget, hit the like button. It means the world to me and it helps me tremendously. So do that and I'm gonna be happy and I'm gonna see you guys in the fourth episode. But I kinda like this. Very purdy. <laughs> see you guys. Stay awesome and bye bye.